Welcome back to another episode of DMSaurus Mini Painting. In today's episode, we're going to talk about cracked earth lava bases. In the last video, we looked at making simple lava bases out of cork and foam. In today's video, we're instead going to look at using two different products to create cracked earth texture on our bases. There are many different products that you can use to achieve this effect. These are just two I had at home already and wanted to try out. Let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is paint the entire base with a bright red. We're going to be using the same recipe for lava that I've used previously, so I'm starting with Reaper's Heraldic Red here. Once we have the entire base red, we're going to start wet blending in an orange. Again, I'm using Reaper's Volcanic Orange for this, and the pattern here is entirely up to you, so make it as erratic as you'd like. Once that is done, we want to continue wet blending with an orange yellow. I keep it inside the orange from the previous stub here, but only a small amount of our work is going to show through on the final stub, so play around with it and find something you like. And finally, we use a bright yellow to highlight the warmest sections of our lava. And you're done! I'm just kidding, but the next step really is dead simple. This is a crackle medium from CraftSmart that works a little differently than texture paints or technical paints you may have used before. What we're going to do is completely cover our work so far and then let the clear coat dry before we do anything else. I let mine dry overnight, but it definitely did not take that long to dry completely. Then, once the medium has dried completely, we're going to take the color we want our cracked earth to be and paint over the medium. We only want to paint over a section once, and then leave it be for the crackle medium to work its magic. The effect here isn't going to be consistent, so definitely experiment with it and find an effect that you like. Personally, I'm a big fan of the results achieved by painting out from the center around the base. Once it's completely covered, set it aside and you can watch the cracks form in real time. My base here dried in about three and a half minutes. Now just paint the base rim black and you've got another great looking lava base. Our next base is going to use a crackle paste also made by Golden. To start, we're going to follow the same prep as the previous base, but even less of this work is going to show through, so don't put in too much effort. Get some reds, orange, and yellows slapped down and wet blended on your base. Once those have dried, we're going to take it back to kindergarten. Take some PVA glue and use the most valuable tool in your arsenal to spread it around. Then go ahead and set that aside to dry. 
I've gotten a slightly better result with the cracking by adding this step, but if you're looking to cut corners, this only improves things marginally and can definitely be skipped. With the glue dried, it's time to finally spread on the crackle paste with yet another specialized tool. Scoop out a dollop of the paste and use the popsicle stick to spread it around evenly. If you guessed that the next step is that you're putting it aside to dry, you're catching on. Now, the instructions on the tub say to allow the product to cure for up to three days, which is a super long time for something we're trying to put on our bases at the end of painting a mini. I've had terrible luck trying to speed up the dry time with heat, but I think that after about a day or so we're good to continue working on the base. The base you see here sat for two days before I continued painting on it. We want to go ahead and cover the entire cracked area with our earth color. This step can also be short circuited by mixing a tiny bit of color into the crackle paste before applying, and you can see that here. Once that is dry, let's go ahead and dry brush some gray all over the area to help it pop a bit. Then take the colors we used for our lava and start working those into the cracks to make them pop some more. When you get that to a state you're happy with, go ahead and paint that base rim black, and that's a wrap on Cracked Earth Lava Bases. So I'm super pleased with the effect to effort ratio of the crackle medium bases and think they look absolutely fantastic. The crackle paste doesn't quite have the effect I'd like it to, and it definitely doesn't match up to a certain hobby brand's technical paints, but I think the effect could be easily combined with some of our other lava base techniques to make a pretty awesome base. Interestingly enough, the crackle paste does actually make a good cracked earth texture if you're not trying to show the colors below. Uh, I'm super happy with the results in that aspect, and I will definitely continue to use it for that in the future. If you like this and want to see more of my hobby videos, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I'll be back soon with one more lava base video, and I'll be moving on to some more fun projects after that. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to hobby internet friends.